Hello, and welcome to this month's Stampin' Society. My name is Charlotte Mallet, and I'm here to share with you this month things that are outside of my comfort zone. That's our theme um, for Stampin' Society. Outside of my comfort zone, uh, realistic images, uh, coloring small images, stamping on designer series paper, one layer cards, um, creating kind of naked cards without any sort of embellishments or ribbons. So those are some things that are outside my comfort zone and we're going to build a card based on that criteria. Sound fun <laughs> or challenging? Yeah, I think so. Let's get started. Let's see if we can create kind of a one layer background. We're going to use this tree. We're going to ink it up in black ink and we're going to stamp maybe two of them. directly on to the DSP and maybe have them overlap each other a little bit. Just wanted to kind of place them there. The polka dots kind of look like little falling snowflakes, so that's why I chose this designer series paper. The coordinating dies in this set are really, really super fun. I'm going to use this outline shape of the trees to create a quick mask so I can add some color. Let's chop this out right now. All right, so I've created a mask. We'll save this because maybe we'll use this piece as well. And that mask will help me add just a little bit of color around or inside those trees. We're gonna take sardine green and a sponge dauber. We're just going to add some color to the inside of these trees. I'm gonna hug this mask over a little bit on this side when I go and add some of the green. See how that's gonna add a little bit more dimension, a little more color, but it doesn't go outside the lines. I'll do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna need to move this mask quite a bit as we add color. We'll move it to this side. And just be careful as you daub in your color. Yeah, those look pretty nice. Let's try this other side here. Oh, I'm impressed. This is not something I do very often or ever. Let's see if we can get it to work. I do like this technique when I see it on other people's cards. Um, it's just not something I normally do. Well, it looks pretty good. Maybe add just a little more color right here. What do you think? Pretty good. I'm thinking we can do the opposite and add a little bit of pool party just in the valleys of these trees here so that the pool party kind of blends up into the gray. For this, I'm gonna use a sponge dubber again. Got the pool party ink, ink it up. And we're just going to come into this outside area just to create, I'm hoping, a little bit of like a color blend in between the trees and this DSP. Yeah, you can see a hint of the blue. Let's try a little over here. This might not look good. I don't know, I'm hoping. Might be a reason why I don't do it. <laughs> try again over here. Light touch, because I don't want a lot of color. Again over here. Just using this outline of the trees as a mask so that a color doesn't get too muddy with these two together. Let's take a circle from the layering circle dies, piece of basic white cardstock. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half, and we're going to die cut a window in the center. That's so we can see these trees behind that window. Let's do that now. Okay chopped out this circle here. 
use this as a frame. It's pretty cute. Let's add a little wood grain texture to this with an embossing folder. I'm just going to place that in there and dry emboss it right now. This piece was four and a quarter by five and a half. We're going to now just trim an eighth of an inch off all the way around so that we can mount it onto this paper and get a little bit of the pattern around. Let's do that now. I cut a quarter inch off of the sides and the top. This is now measuring four by five and a quarter. And now we're going to mount it to this piece of uh, pattern paper. And then we're going to trim the pattern paper to the card front size, which is going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. Just use some stamp and seal. And I think I might, I like this flatter side of the wood grain. So I'm going to add this adhesive all the way around the back side, just like so. And then I'm going to frame those trees where I'd like to see them. I want to get enough of that snow. And now we're going to trim it to the card size. I'm using an old cutter here. Basically, we're leaving about an eighth of an inch around the frame there. Making the card measurement four and a quarter by five and a half or the card front measure, four and a quarter by five and a half. Five and a half, four and a quarter, when it's all said and done. And there it is, very good. And let's mount that to a piece of basic white for our card front. This is measured uh, 11 by four and a quarter. We're gonna score it in half at the five and a half mark. We're going to fold it over using our bone folder to press that flat and then we'll mount this onto the card frame. Very good. That's pretty much as close to a one layer uh, base as you get, right? We're going to stamp the reindeer and the little girl and we're going to color them and we will chop them out. Let's ink up the reindeer in some memento ink. I'm thinking sometimes larger stamps are easier to ink up if you flip them over. You can actually see really well how much ink you've gotten on the image. That looks great. We'll stamp the little girl giving the reindeer an apple. That looks nice too. We'll color those in. I'm not gonna take too much time coloring. I just want this to be a quick color, but we're gonna do, um, we're gonna use a little bit of crumb cake. So I'm gonna start with the light and I'm just gonna paint in on the reindeer with the paintbrush tip. I'm really liking sweet sorbet for Christmas. I'm gonna use the light sweet sorbet. And we're gonna just color in her jacket. It's a nice, such a nice uh, hot pink red. Really add a pop of color. Let's give her scarf in pool party. I'm going to just color this bridle in a little darker using 
SU-300 Stampin' Blend. Let's use a little bit Daffodil Delight for these tassels. Okay, you guys, I think I found another thing that I avoid coloring is detailed images. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a whole lot easier to be sloppy with rough and tumble. I'm going to add a little bunny in here. I think that it would be cute to add the little white snow bunny to our scene. Okay, little light smoky slate on our bunny. But not coloring the whole thing because I want a lot of the white to poke through. Cute. Now I'm going to cut it out because I can't decide what color to do this. I don't know what this is, this decorative saddle. And I'm going to hand cut it out because I want it to be one image. There are dies for all three images here, but we're going to just hand chop this out. Okay. That's cute. We'll put that there. Maybe we leave the uh, the saddle thing white. I don't know. We'll chop the bunny out separate. I've decided to pull the pool party in. Let's do that right here. And we'll give this Bermuda Bay, the light Bermuda Bay, little tiny accent. Right there. I think I'm going to use the Peace on Earth sentiment, so let's stamp that in black. Just on the edge, a piece of scrap. We'll decide where to place that once we arrange the rest of this. I'm just going to chop it out a little so that I can move it around. All right, let's pop this up. Again, one of the things that I don't do very often is just stamps, ink, and paper. And this card is really showing you how to create a nice look with just stamps, ink, and paper. Now I'm leaving the bottom of their feet to, they're light enough that they can hang, but that's also so I, if I decide to tuck a greeting underneath, I can. I'm gonna center this on the front, centered on the front of the card, left to right, and then in the bottom section here. And tack that down. We'll pop the little bunny up. And now this peace on earth sentiment. I don't know, I'm gonna just chop it out and then decide. Maybe I like it right there. Yeah, that looks good. And it'll give some uh, structure to those antlers. Nice. The other thing I noticed, I forgot to color that little ornament. Let's add a little Bermuda Bay to that. There we go. It gives us kind of a nice little 
triangle. I'll come back in. I don't usually color after the fact either, but I feel like I might need to add just a little in here. All right, and there you have it. This is my out of my comfort zone card using basically one layer, two layer card with no ribbons or embellishments, coloring with a realistic image, stamping on DSP. Okay, just kidding guys, I couldn't be done yet. It needs ribbon, it needs embellishment, I gotta do it. It's cute enough as it is, it really is, but we're going to add, I just have to, comfort zone be, be danged. We're going to add a little linen thread, tie it around the bottom so these guys aren't floating. I've tied this around the whole base and inside the card. So if I don't like where the bow ends up, I can slide it. And I think I do want the bow over here maybe a little more. Just like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that's good. Had to do that. Let's trim off those ends. And now we're going to add some iridescent rhinestones. Just a little bling. I mean, why limit ourselves when we have this full arsenal of stuff? <laughs> I'm just gonna randomly put a few on here, picking them up with my take your pick tool. No rhyme or reason to really where I'm placing them, just where it feels good to my eye. Maybe that's enough, yeah. All right, it just needed it. That's all I can say. So now is really, I can really sign off and say goodbye. Thanks for taking a minute with me. My name's Charlotte Mallet, and this card was created for Stampin' Society. Thank you. See you next month. For real. <laughs>